Now it's time to review your Crendel 425 blower usage and installation. There are two types of insulation that are preferred for the Crendel insulation blower, cellulose and fiberglass. When opening a bag of insulation, make sure that the plastic and any other debris do not fall into the hopper which could damage the unit. Never force feed the material by pushing down on the insulation and never place your hands below the hopper bars. This is a decal with suggested dense packing wall cavity settings. There is a slide gate setting, the amount of time to fill the cavity, and the pounds per cubic foot. There are two sections, one for a one and a half inch nozzle and one for a one inch nozzle. These settings are for 100 foot of hose and for an eight foot by 12 inch, eight foot by 16 inch wide wall cavity. The U.S. Department of Energy specification for cellulose dense pack is three and a half pounds per cubic foot. Make sure to insulate at three and a half pounds per cubic foot to make sure that your insulation will not settle. This is the decal with the suggested settings for attic blow. There are different types of material, fiberglass or cellulose. The slide gate setting for both should be at six inches or fully open and then it tells your pounds per hour that you should be getting. These, this, these production rates were calculated with a 100 foot of hose at 15 feet of elevation. This decal is the same decal but for fiberglass insulation. All the settings are the same, the slide gate setting, the amount of time to fill the cavity, and the pounds per cubic foot. The U.S. Department of Energy specifications for fiberglass dense pack is one and a half pounds per cubic feet. Make sure to insulate at at least 1.5 pounds of cubic feet to ensure that settling will not occur.